Hi everyone, thanks for coming to my channel. Uh, we're just going to jump straight into this. This is one of my lovely clients and she's opted for a brow lamination hybrid tint and wax today. So first of all, I'm starting to cleanse her brows. Once that's cleansed, we'll go in with an exfoliator to get rid of all the dead skin cells, any dry patches or anything like that. So this helps the hybrid tint to stain the skin better. Once that's cleansed off, just make sure that it's all away. I'm just using a brow cleanser. Next, I'm going in with step one of the brow lamination. Make sure it's all coated through the hairs. And once I've put it on, I usually give it a wee brush through. Once that has been put on for the time that it needed, I cleanse off the remaining product. Next step is step two. Again, I just brush through it so all the hairs are coated and put them into place the way I want them. Once again, cleansing over the brow once the processing time is up. Next, we're going to map out our brows from the outside of our nose to the bulb of our eyebrow. Next, from the corner of our nose through the middle of our eye up to the top of our brow is where our arch will be. And from the corner of our nose until the corner of her eye to the edge of her eyebrow is where the tail of her eyebrow will be. I just also map across here just to make sure that the bulb of the eyebrows are in line and then I start to map out her brows. Mixing up the hybrid tint. start by applying it at the tails of the brows as this is going to be the darkest part. Just keep going over it, make sure tidying up your lines and make sure the, brow, the other brow is the same. I always leave the bulb of the brow last so it's not a kind of harsh line. Just make sure all the hair is covered pressed right into the skin as well eh, for a good skin stain. Once that's done, 
cleanse over the eyebrow with a dry cotton pad. Now we're going in just for a, with a simple wax. This also helps tidy up your lines as well for a more defined eyebrow. This client has also got really coarse hair, so I find that I have to go in and tweeze after I've waxed, just for the wee stubborn hairs that's left. To finish off, I just go in with a wee bit of concealer to tidy up the lines and just to get rid of the redness and give it the sharp brow that she wants. And here's the final results. I hope this is helpful for you and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.